Hi, this is Ahmed Alogaili and Manos Brilakis presenting case 263 for the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case illustrating an alternative way to seal a large vessel perforation by using a dissection re-entry technique. The patient was a gentleman with exertional dyspnea, considered to be an engine equivalent, normally F ischemia in the inferior wall, and was found to have a right coronary CTO. This is the coronary angiogram with the blunt proximal cap, long occlusion length, vessel distally looks okay, and there are both septals as well as some epicardial collaterals. So based on these characteristics, our plan was to first try undergrade wiring. If that didn't work, go retrograde to the septals. And if that didn't work, try for ADR, since there was a landing zone for the entry in the distal RCA. We tried with various guide wires in the undergrade direction, but we were unable to make much progress. Fielder XTA, guy on X1. We then switched to the retrograde approach, did multiple attempts for crossing using both surfing as well as contrast injections, but we were unsuccessful. We went back into um, undergrade crossing. We use a guy next one who seems to advance. And then eventually we switched for a, a fielder XT that uh, knuckled and seems to be dancing well with the vessel. So what we did is we used the guide extension to minimize the formation of hematoma. And we delivered a stingray trying to re-enter. The double blind stick and shrub technique was sticking through both exit ports proximal to the proximal marker as well as uh, between the two markers. And the wire seems to be advancing, but then when we did the contralateral injection to check our position, it is now apparent that actually we are not in the right coronary artery. So it is unclear whether we are in the marginal or completely out of the vessel, but there is some staining. This looks fairly concerning for a perforation. So what to do next? Uh, the first step for every perforation is to use a balloon to seal the perforation. That's exactly what we did, balloon in the proximal right coronary artery. The question is how to proceed next, and uh, what we tried in this case is to cross retrograde, because we did have a previous case in which we went retrograde in a similar situation, we were able to dissect around the area of the perforation and then use the dissection flap as a means to seal the perforation. But unfortunately, we were not able to go retrograde. So then we thought maybe we can actually do the dissection, but do it in the undergrade direction. So we did a form of the base technique. We have the balloon up for hemostasis, but then we have a microcatheter right next to it, and we were able to advance a gladius mongo wire. And now this seems to go in a different plane that is more consistent with the right coronary artery. And this is confirmed on contralateral injection. We're um, dancing with the vessel. So we uh, did very small, very short deflations of the balloon. We delivered the stingray balloon further distally. We do have some staining of the septals from the previous crossing attempts. And then we did stingray re-entry, which this time was successful. We uh, used a, a Sasuki to advance uh, a workhorse uh, guide wire in the right coronary artery, PDA and PLV. Predilated and then stented. And by using the stenting, uh, what we can see now is that the stingray was actually located previously within an acute marginal branch. And uh, although this appears to be dissected, we did not have any obvious perforation. So multiple lessons from this case. The first one is that complications can happen in CTO-PCI. One of the most important ways to prevent a complication is to check the equipment position. And that can be done by using orthogonal views. In this case, we were fooled. We thought the wire was in the right coronary artery whereas retrospectively was actually was into this acute marginal branch. When a complication happens, such as perforation, the first step is to put a balloon up. And then in most cases, we stop the procedure, but here it would be hard to seal the perforation by just stopping the, uh, the procedure. So what we try to do is an alternative way to seal it, which is to create a dissection plane. Sometimes the dissection plane can be created by doing retrograde crossing. But retrograde crossing failed in this case. And what we did is essentially start an undergrade dissection plane. We used the base technique, advanced and knuckled wire. And then we went around that area of perforation and then uh, were able to re-enter and then place stents that help seal the perforation. So having um, the ability to do both undergrade and retrograde crossing techniques can help uh, 
seal large vessel perforation using dissection reentry with a dissection flap as a means to seal the perforation. Thank you.